Hi guys, it's Amanda, and today I'm back to do the weekly oracle card reading video. And I was planning to do the monthly oracle card reading video yesterday, but I never got around to it. I didn't feel very well, and so I may do it tonight, or I may just wait and do it Friday, since I have today and tomorrow's videos to do this week. Um, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I like to record these outside so that we can hear the sounds of nature, like the birds and the chirping critters around me, but I can't control what noise goes on in the neighbor's yards. So I think someone is mowing, which didn't start until like a minute before I came out here to do this. So anyway, today what I want to do, I haven't used any of these decks in this Indigo's collection, <clears throat> excuse me, in this Indigo's collection for a while. And I selected a new one for a free trial recently. It is called the Food Healing Oracle Deck, created by Joanna Salerno and Lainey Savante Walken. Uh, sorry, I don't pronounce things very well. But I did a couple of test readings with this, and I really like this one. This one talks about food and how food relates to your energy overall, basically. And I just want to give us something that we can... Um, I think this one's really great for beginners because... I talk about wanting you to take time 5, 10, 15 minutes a day every day over the next week and sit with the message from these cards and ask for connection or guidance from your spirit guides in relation to that. But it's still kind of, it's very abstract, it's a very abstract concept for some people to start trying to do that. So I think with this one it will give you a food to think about and what it what that food relates to so if you can take time and enjoy this food every day over the next week um, just that might help you zone in on the message and that might help you that might trigger the thing in your brain that says oh I need to ask my spirit guides for help on this concept while I'm cutting up and enjoying this food. So I will just select one card because I like to keep these basic <clears throat> because I imagine that people who find my videos are beginners to my channel and maybe beginners to sp spirit guides or spirit messages or oracle cards in general or I just imagine that um, I try to make it as simple as possible so that it's a starting off point because I feel like I don't reach very many viewers with these videos so I think once I start getting more and more and more views on these oracle card videos over time then I can start going more in depth but I try to keep it simplistic and beginner like so you've probably had time to read this by now close your eyes and focus on a topic you want to read about and I will, um, it says they've been shuffled. So I will just scan through and pick a card for a topic that we should think about for a few minutes every day over the next week. Sorry, I feel like I'm kind of yelling to try to talk over the lawnmower. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully this turns out okay. Pineapple, expansion. That pineapple is a really great one. It's kind of easier for us to get it right now here in the United States because it's summer. And I've been eating a lot of pineapple actually. And expansion. So this is initially my reaction to seeing expansion. I want, I, it makes me think that, like I was saying, I do these from a beginner standpoint or for, for beginners and I think that this deck is going to be a great one to open up your mind and 
give you a starting point for where to think about this message every day for the next week. Um, whenever you are cutting the pineapple or whenever you are, maybe you cut it and then you put it in the fridge and you just take a little bit out every day and eat it. Whenever you do that, whenever you get it out and whenever you're eating it, then you can think about opening up your mind to zoning in more on connecting with your spirit guides and the divine energy around you. And so pineapple is the gateway to expanding your mind to ask for assistance from your spirit guides and have your couple minutes of meditation every day. But let's see what else the card says. It's really pretty. I love pineapples, so I think that's really pretty. Healing Wisdom Have you been feeling stuck or stagnant? When you receive pineapple, expansion is imminent. Sometimes we are given a pause before some big stuff comes in. For instance, you may be going through a spiritual awakening, experiencing people and old situations falling away because they no longer fit your growing, expansive vibration. Consider this a blessing. You are making room for what resonates with a new, authentic you. This expansive energy comes in to tell you that this pause is coming to an end and forward movement and change is upon you. Are you ready? You may not know the answer, but spirit does. You were born to expand the greatest truth of your soul and utilize this for your upliftment of the planet and others. Practical gifts. Pineapple has a myriad of health benefits. Its abundance of thiamine makes this delicious fruit good for eye health and has been proven to lower the risks of cataracts. Pineapple is anti-inflammatory and helps conditions such as arthritis, sinusitis, and even muscle strain. If that's not enough to get you hungry for some pineapple, how about its ability to help you with your digestion due to its high bromelain enzyme count? Eat and enjoy this good-for-you fruit often. If blending, use the pineapple's stem minus the leaves, considered super powerful against cancer. Okay, so all of the message from this card is pretty much what I was saying. Um, I was talking about it spiritually or um, abstractly about opening your mind to working with your spirit guides and the divine energy around you. But also, now's a time when you may feel a little bit stuck or you may feel like you're losing some things in your life. But what your spirit guides want you to know is that that's okay because you have to make room for new and better things to come. And that's kind of the message that I've been getting with these weekly readings for pretty much all of August. The, I guess I know now it's September, but pretty much the message of right now going into the fall is letting go of the old and getting ready for the new. You have to make room for new and better things to come. And ask your spirit guides every day. And normally I say when you take a bath, when you fold laundry, when you wash dishes, when you take a walk, when you meditate before you go to sleep, or whenever you are trying to quiet your mind before you go to sleep. This week what I want you to do is have just a couple little chunks of pineapple every day. And during that time when you're eating that pineapple, I want you to take that time to close your eyes or kind of shut down your mind and just think. Spirit Guides, I know you're here with me. Spirit Guides, please help me. Spirit Guides, please make me comfortable with this new expansion that is coming to me. Help me be okay to let go of the old and bring in the new. And help me connect to the divine in the way that's best for me. And... By doing that, your spirit guides will hear you and they will hear that as a daily prayer and they will become more and more evident in your life and giving you messages and holding back some of your fear or holding back some of your anxiety for you. And then you will be able to connect to your goddess or your god or whatever divine energy is, whatever the divine energy is that you believe in 
your spirit guides will be there to help you bridge that gap between you and them and they will help make your life easier for you all you have to do is ask so that's all that i have for this message and i will go back and show you the card thanks as always for watching Please like, subscribe, and share my videos with anyone who you think may be interested. And as always, have a blessed day. Let me know in the comments below what comes up for you over the next week as you focus on this slight meditation. And that's all. Bye!